Hello? Mr. Gautieri, I'm Father Jose. I'm Mr. Gautieri. Where's Father Felix? Oh, unfortunately, he's ill. He's having bypass surgery. He asked me to fill in. So, the Feast of St. Lazier. Father Felix brought me up to speed. I'd like to hear your ideas for this year. Well, there ain't much to talk about. It's all done to a non-profit corporation. We close the streets for five days, hire the food vendors, rides, etc. Day two, we start the procession. Push a statue up and down the block, you say a couple of prayers, and that's that. All said and done, you get your rent. About that, as I was telling Mr. Russomano, frankly, $10,000 struck me as quite low. It is what it is. Look, I'm new here. I certainly don't want to rock the boat. I realize there are certain neighborhood traditions. It's just that given the current cost, we feel an increase is long overdue. What kind of increase? We feel 50,000 would be a more equitable donation. 50? Just this year, we started a soup kitchen for the homeless, a reading program for bilingual children. There's less help than ever from the federal government. You think this feast pays for itself? Security, electric, sanitation. Not to mention fuel costs. Eh. The way it seems to break down is you spend $18 for a city permit to close down the street, charge fees to the vendors and the thousands of dollars to lease out land that you don't even own. Yeah? Well, it seems to me the church has plenty in its coffers for all those pedophilia lawsuits. The parish's deal was negotiated since this was Johnny Soprano's feast. These are different times, Mr. Gautieri. Well, some things don't change. A couple of days, Joe Vella from the honor guard will be by with the float. Transfer the statue from his niche, pick up the hat, and other stuff. You say things don't change. This feast was started over a hundred years ago in a spirit of giving. Italian immigrants, the working poor, gave what little money they had to honor St. Elzair. He's the patron saint from my grandparents' town, Ariano di Puglia. Many of those folks gave their gold wedding bands, which were melted down to make the saint's hat. Yeah. The Holy Society of St. Elzair, of which you, our recording secretary, has for the past 100 years entrusted us with the care of that habiliment. Frankly, I don't feel safe giving it over this year. We use it every year. It's part of the tradition. I understand, but I'm sorry. Given the tenor of this conversation, I sense there's a possible criminal element in this neighborhood that could endanger this precious piece of local history. But for 50 grand, you wouldn't have that sense. It would demonstrate to me that you take this feast as seriously as the people who began it. Okay, Father. Nice meeting you. Fuck the hat. Where's the rest? Five days rent in advance, I said. What if it rains? Ohio State figures your rebate for bad weather. Got another reason I don't live in Ohio. Pray for my mother, St. Al's here. Hey, they forgot his hat. This is my nephew, George. Just back from Iraq. Two tours you done. I'm proud of you, my friend. Yeah. Paulie, it's me. We had a problem down here. The ride, the teacups or whatever. A bolt busted, thing jammed up. Some people got hurt. Where's the guy owns it? He's talking to the cops. Fine, fuck it. What do you want from me? It's pretty bad, Paulie. Lady broke her wrist. Some Puerto Rican kid lost some, some teeth. Oh, what am I, a fucking dentist? I don't know. I thought you'd want to know. Maybe come down or something. I gotta be up in the morning. I got my fucking biopsy. All right. I'll take care of it. The... Now is your last chance to take advantage